All right, guys, so I'm going to teach you guys the easiest way to beat a Darius in the top lane. It like, seriously, it's actually a very easy way to do it. So what you want to do is you take the Conqueror page and then you take Transcendence and you take Scorch. And what you're going to do is you're going to go Ignite. And the plan is to purposely allow Darius to grab you. And basically what's going to happen is that you can basically all in Darius for free after you proc the, proc the bone plane. And then you can directly all in when he grabs you with Ignite. And um, the second way we're going to be playing, uh, the strat we're playing against him, is we're going to be queuing directly into Darius queues all the time. And whenever we run out of abilities, we will run back and forth. Let me showcase. Like, honestly, Jax used to be one of my favorite matchups in top lane for a really long time. And it still is to this day. Um, but riffing up against Darius is... Kind of became, became, like, one of my favorites since a while right now. It's very, like, skill-based matchup. Some people see Darius as a... Um, as a hard matchup, and it is to some extent, but if you know how this matchup works, it becomes more of a skill matchup. Looks like he's playing it pretty slow. That was honestly a pretty good, like, WQ cancel from Darius. That was not bad from him. But anyway. So first of all, first level one, two, three, you can play it super aggressively against Darius like most people do. Or you can play it the way how I do, and you quite literally just let Darius push it in towards you. And as you can push it back into him, that's where you can gain the advantage. Because you can stack the wave up, you can have the perfect positioning for the wave. I actually lost the cannon to a spell man. So yeah, we're just kind of playing it safe for now. Temporarily. He might also go for the Cheater Recall, I think. Okay, seems like he's staying. That's good, too. Good for me. Alright, here we go. So each time he's going to go for a CS, we will specifically trade at that specific moment. Back out. If you want to make sure that Darius does not grab you... Um... The best way to avoid that is by third queuing and then dashing back instantly. And we got him. So you saw what I did right there. I went for a trade against Darius in the perfect timing. He went for the CS, right? What we did was right after that trade, I look into another fight because he was already like about 80% health. Um... I literally wait for him to either grab me or cue me, okay? And at that mo at that point, whenever he uses either one of the two, you literally all in, you press your ignite if you if it's needed, and you kill him, right? In this scenario, we even have to wave into a really good position, so it was really hard for him to do anything at all. But I didn't even have to ignite. And you could see we literally outplay him like that. It's a really, really, really skill-based matchup if you... Um, if you know how it works. Okay, let's walk back. So once again, either he grabbed you or he cues you. It's either one of the two. So again, like the wave is uh, slow pushing towards me. That's actually really, really good for me. Let's place a ward down in the tribush. For Kane, I'm also going to place a board down right here on the edge. My spirit and let's see if we can actually get a third kill off. I'm going to grab him here. Let him grab me. I'm trolling. I hit, I hit an auto attack on the CS. Whoops. <laughs> I've got my level 6 off. Like, the moment that we all lint him, we had my level 6. Like, we leveled up in the middle of the fight, so... That one was pretty free for me. So now we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna get the wave, then we get the plates, and then we're backing out after. 
Yeah, this matchup is absolutely like heavily favored for me right now because now we can reset. We can either go for pickaxe or we can go for uh, Kindle Gem. What we're gonna do is actually go for Kindle Gem. Most people, when you play Riffin with Ignite, most people, they tend to go for um, for Pickaxe when you are already having Warhammer and it's it's like a really good game, right? But for me personally, I always take it the safe way. I much rather go for Warhammer Kindle Gem um, for second ability haste, becoming more tanky, um, more outplay potential than go for Pickaxe because Pickaxe, you know, only it only allows you to, to all in. Right, you have less ability haste. So certain traits are beco becoming harder. Gotta be careful because Warwick is currently in the topside jungle. Gotta make sure we don't get Warwicked. <laughs> because I think we do. Ooh, not bad from him. He cued when I needed the cannon. He actually lands that one. Hey, that is absolutely not bad at all. The way how he played it was... Pretty smart. I did not expect that Darius was going to play it like that, to be honest. He got really close to killing me. But I mean, of course, we have my own summoner spells too, right? Nice. Let's get the plate. And now we're going to back off. So now we're going to go for the pickaxe if we want to make lane even better even more easy we could also go for lucidity boots um i'm gonna do it we're gonna go for an easy time lucidity boots is literally easy mode against areas i'll show you why like if you stack uh, Warhammer, lucidity kindle jam you have so much ability haze you can literally extend your q and just get it back instantly. My spirit is not lost. Hmm. I'm gonna all in directly. Ooh, not bad from him. <laughs> he canceled my third Q. Unnecessary strike. Yeah, now he's forced to he can't play lane out anymore. Hmm. I could kill him if he does it again, then he's dead. Okay, Warwick is top lane. I'm gonna see if I can kill him right now. I think he saw me. Yep. Got him. Appreciate it. I don't think he saw me, or maybe he did, I don't know. It was super close, so it, he might have actually seen me. Nice, let's place a ward over here. And now we can start taking some... Come on, man. He's not gonna try. I kind of want to stay because I don't have enough gold for pickaxe anyway. Mm, we're getting an any top lane. With maybe uh, possibly a cane. It's going back. I need to play, dude. I think he'll walk. Uh, I think he'll walk this way. Yep. I'm gonna ping for that one gank. Nice. 
Yep, this is over for him. Now we're gonna get the wave. Hmm, what is he gonna do? <laughs> he missed it, oh man. <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate for Annie. Yone is walking back. Alright, let's go for a Gore Jinker. And then... We will also go for a Ghost Blade. There you go. I really like the Gore Jinker Ghost Blade Hydra uh, build right now. In certain cases, like it... It's really awesome. If you're like having a really good game, no, like snowballing with Ghost Blade is super easy, and having High Trust gives you sustain, damage, and all the other stuff you need. I mean, you already have sustain on Gorchinker, don't get me wrong, but like, it can be better, right? <laughs> Got you, buddy. Sorry, my man. This game is mine. Good luck. <laughs> they have no exhaust. They don't have it. Oof, I had my Gorchinker back up, but I also had to activate my third Q in order to stop Warwick from like healing off of me. I think it would have been better if I just walked backwards. Hmm. Okay, let's go for... We could also consider going for a Chainsword because they have, like... They have three champions with, with, like, insane healing. So it's something we could actually consider. I might actually end up going for Hydra and then Chainsword. I think. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's go back top. <clears throat> By the way, we are having a really good game. Seems like ADC is a bit behind though. They're getting kind of wrecked by Illusion. Uh, Darius resetting. He's in the um, he's in the brush. go up to this camp over here now we're going to keep on farming up jungle camps keep on rotating eventually we will start roaming as always <clears throat> don't forget guys by the way if you play like this you should always always and always go for red trinket especially in this scenario because now you know if there are wards or not Warwick is like, nope. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Got that Yumi. Got you. He's dead. <laughs> I'm probably dead. Oh, or... We are not dead yet. Riffin is honestly... You know, if you're snowballing like this, Riffin is already, like, unstoppable. But if you have a Yumi, you are legitimately, like, so hard to kill. Uh, 
failed it. I think he has R, so it's not really worth for me to try. Um, this guy's dead. I don't need to press my R. Mm, let's rotate back mid lane. Maybe kill that Warwick and Yone. Yeah, we, we, we got him. He, he's not able to, to run away from this. Or... <laughs> he's still dead. Yep. <laughs> got him. Just I, We're literally just moving across the entire map for that one kill. Worth it, man. Yep, that guy's also dead. What? That Warwick is like walking past us. <laughs> He's going for a Samurai. Oh. Oh, we got him. He's dead. He's like, he, yeah, he's already giving him his, himself away. He's not even going to try to run away anymore. Nice, got him. Back to hard pushing. Take the wave, then we probably rotate towards mid lane. This guy's dead. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we are literally that fat we can just walk through towers and basically basically not feel anything. So, let's go for Hydra. I'm gonna buy Chainsword. Uh, there we go. And now we're just gonna run mid. I think that all we have to do right now is just running mid lane and then probably finish the game. Because we can flash into into their team comp super easily. I'll just get a red buff along with it. This game will spawn. Oh. Thank you. Nice try. Remember guys, if you ever play against an ADC or support that you want to dive, sometimes it's definitely worth like taking a look whether they have exhaust or not because that really does make the difference um, whether you should try and kill them or not. Because exhaust can really like ruin your 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 dive or your flash or whatever you're doing. Sometimes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Got that Darius. Oh. Oh! I couldn't go drinker, man. Feels bad, man. I, I was about to kill them so hard, man. Oh. If I if, if trust me guys, if I manage to hit my gore drinker, I would heal. I don't know, I guess it would heal like 300 HP or something. I would auto combo and then heal off, I think, 400, 500 in total. 
And then I would instantly kill Yone and then probably kite backwards. And... Well, I'll kill everyone, I guess. <laughs> I was so close to getting my Gorgon girl off. I'm gonna go with Death Stance. I, I need healing. If we get kills, we, we gotta heal off of it. Oh, I'll get the Jumi. It's been a long time, man, that we actually have a Yumi like riff, like on Riffin, right? Wait a second. Come on, man. One more try. Come on. Ah, I'm giving up. <laughs> trust me, guys. You can jump that wall. Trust me, man. You can. It's just really hard. But it's possible, okay? I wish I could show you. We almost had it. Almost. It was close. Hmm. We got Yone, but we died right after. That was a, uh... That was a pretty random, like, flash for many. We're gonna have to play a, a little bit differently, man. Their, their team comp has a lot of CC. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go. I like the off-meta build on Kane. It's so troll, but it actually works somehow. Blue Kane. I think I'm just gonna run straight mad. You made a mistake, bro. <laughs> Terrible mistake, my man. Never press that ability when you play Yone and there's a Riffin chasing you. You could take this one. I think they know that we're doing it. Or maybe they don't. Lucian is still in bot lane, so they have no clue for doing it. Nope, they're all farming. Nice. I'm kind of impressed with like how fast we can take the Baron down. Yeah, goodbye, my man. You're you're walking out to any, by the way. <laughs> Nice. Let's go mid lane. You're dead, buddy. And this guy's also dead. Or what a game. <laughs> the best move ever, man. Just drop the ignite down and then just walk away. Make them realize that they're dead for like the next couple, you know, ignite ticks. Oh, Darius, you're so dead. We could try and kill the support. What? 
Ah, you got face. Ah, oh, this guy got baited. Break spawns in 55. It's actually impressive, like, how well this build's working for him. Remember, this is like a blue cane. But he actually does damage with it. And he's stinky. Warwick is the only guy who is like annoying this game. Because of his CC. I'll play, buddy. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Either way, guys, this is Riffin Topic and Zarius. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.